Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes, welcome back. So today we're going to be making hydrochloric acid and we're going to have a byproduct of potassium sulfate. Um, anyways, let's get started. Alright, so in here I have 280 grams of sodium bisulfate, that's F-A-T-E at the end, and then in here I have 120 grams of potassium chloride. And so now I'm going to combine these two. And then I'm going to give them a good stir, and then I'm going to put them into there. And so once I get them in there, I'll be right back. Alright, so I just got it all in there. I turned the heat on. And so the setup I'm using, you see I've got the stop, the top very stop. Bleh. As you can see, I got the top stopped off. And so then it comes down here, and it goes into th that boiling flask. But then on my hose, I've got that check valve in it. And then it's going down into some ice water. And so now the check valve in it's very important, and the reason that, that is is because once it stops producing gas, it's going to back suck, and then all your liquid in the water, all your contain, all the liquid in that container will back siphon into there. And if you don't have a way to stop that from happening, it'll go into your main flask, and um, cold water into hot glass is a big no-no. So. Um, yeah, and so anyways, so that's going to start boiling and pushing out gases, and those gases is hydrogen chloride gas, and so you want it to go into the water, and then that water is going to turn into your hydrochloric acid. Alright, so I went and filled a water bottle and came back, and it was literally just so a minute about, and that's how much it started boiling in a minute. So, let's see if that will help any. Um, yeah, so the reaction goes pretty fast as far as getting started just to give you that idea and um, again that cup there is going to be where all the acid is formed from that boiling gas or the not boiling but the gas coming out of that too anyways alright so I felt like it was starting to percolate too fast and so I made a double percolating apparatus so that way if I'm missing any of the gas it'll have another chance to percolate again in the other container and so that way I'll miss half as much by guessing I mean it could be more could be less but um, I'll still catch more if there's more going through and so just figured I'd show that to you because the way I had it was not adequate I you could definitely tell I was losing gas so um, yeah anyways yeah, you can hear it right now. I don't know if you can, but I can. It's just percolating away. I don't know if that helps or not. Yeah, it's just ripping. So anyways. Um, yep, yeah, and so then here's what this side looks like. It, It's kind of turned into like a looks like about a cake batter consistency with foam on top <laughs> uh, but yeah anyways that's that and then I oh yeah and I did put that check valve back in there so I mean it's still going just again so maybe you can hear it now I got a little quieter in here yeah just percolating away alright so um, I don't have any way to test what percent of hydrochloric acid I'm, that makes, but um, I forget what the name of the test is to do it, but uh, it'll make pretty uh, concentrated acid the more or less water you have in your container that receives the gas bubbles. My two brown percolating containers, as an example, would be where the acid will be. And so then, um, as a byproduct, you get potassium sulfate. So now your potassium sulfate is in the starting boiling flask, the clear one. And so now, I don't know exactly the process yet, but the, you, can, you can add one of those two products over and over and over again, the sodium bisulfate or the potassium chloride, and the reaction can keep going and going and going. Um, I read the patent on it online, but I don't fully understand it yet. Uh, so that'll be an update in the future. But anyways, that's how you make hydrochloric acid and potassium sulfate, which 
potassium sulfate has some pretty decent um, uses in, in pyrotechnics and um, stuff like that, and, and some food and health stuff also. So anyways, until next one, guys. Have a good one.